Alrighty guys, what is going on? Linky to here and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Games. We are back after like a week hiatus, so guys, I apologize for that, but today guys, we are playing on Solo SG. Very random, very out of the blue, but MCSG, MC Game and Network came out with Solo Survival Games, which is basically SG, but with no teaming allowed. So that's pretty cool, so we're playing Solo Survival Games today. Very excited to be doing this for you guys. It is pretty neat i gotta say i'm very hyped to be playing it only 12 players per game which kind of worries me because you've got to be pretty decent i think to play this and i'm not very good i'm not good at survival games i'm bad i stink but anyway guys it's been a while since i've recorded an sg so i figured we would get another sg out for you all today we have a weapon which is very good my clicking skills from playing sky wars a lot have definitely improved so that is a decent thing at least, and but my SG skills have not improved, so that is sad. We can go down for this chest here, which gives us an iron ingot, which is very good. So, thinking about survival game solo is, I've noticed the games go incredibly quickly, and it's kind of a bad thing for recording, but then again, it's a good thing for rendering. So if you can manage to win one of these games, you're honestly, like, you're set. You're set for, a mu for much longer in the game, which is good. We now have some nice iron... But not iron, but we have some armor now, which is pretty good. Now, tributes die fairly quickly, so this game is very hectic, very, very different, I've noticed. The atmosphere in SG Solo is much more, I guess you could say try hardy than the atmosphere is in normal survival games. In normal survival games, you can play with your friends, you can team, you can do all that sort of stuff, and you can just have a good time. But in SG Solo, a lot of people are playing for, like, stats and stuff like that. And it's much more difficult, but I wanted to try my luck at it today, just to see how we could do, how we could fare against the the good players, and just see what we could make happen. And so far, I'm liking Solo SG. Uh, I won about 10 games uh, yesterday when it came out, and then they reset stats, so because people were boosting and all that stuff, and it wasn't very fun for a lot of people. So they reset stats, and all my stats get reset. So if I do slash stats now, you'll see that I have zero of anything this is my first game playing after the stat reset so it's very very depressing but don't worry it'll be fine I'll, I'll be sure to get my stats back as soon as possible if we need anything from this we'll take the raw fish just in case we are good and these games generally they go by pretty quickly if you get a lot of kills off in the beginning but if players start to get spread out they can tend to they tend to drag on a bit so that's what i've noticed at least if you guys have played solo sg and you've seen any differences in gameplay or like what do you what do you guys prefer do you guys prefer solo sg or do you guys prefer can i not get into this chest do you guys prefer solo sg or the normal sg let me know they're pretty they're, they're honestly they're the exact same thing with the only difference being no teaming and 12 player games and i kind of once in a while i enjoy 12 player games like i'll i'll play them they'll be fun to do and everything but sometimes you want a 24 player game sometimes you want a a game that involves a lot more players and it's really up to preference, so whatever you guys prefer is what most people will play. So that's always good to see that um, MCSG is taking a lot of their, taking a lot of feedback from the community, which I think is really cool. So, what do you, I guess this actually turned into kind of a topic about MCSG and their feedback. Lately, I've noticed that MCSG has been taking a lot more feedback from their players, and I think that's really good to build the server into something great. There is a tier 2, which is good for us, so that's nice. For us, we're almost in, we're getting closer to full iron, which is good. And I like that MCSG is beginning to take more opinions from their player base, because it shows that they do value our opinion as a community, which I think is good, because if MCSG didn't value our, our input, I, I doubt a lot of people would be playing on it. A lot of people would probably move to Hive, um, um, Nexus, Mindplex, any of that stuff. That guy is closer to me in armor. Looks like he's firing on people, but it's it's different. The atmosphere in MCSG is a lot more tryhardy than most of those servers, and sometimes I don't enjoy that. Sometimes I enjoy getting on Mindplex and playing a good game of survival games with some people that really just want to have fun. And Mindplex, in my opinion, is one of those servers where you can just have fun on the server. You don't have to worry about stats or anything like that. You can just have fun. And I really like Mindplex for that. It's really good. It's, it's a nice atmosphere. But if you really want to kind of try hard your stats and everything, most people will go to MCSG, which I can definitely understand. I can understand why people would think that the server that is named the Minecraft Survival Games to a lot of people 
would have the best players and the best stats. It's been the survival game server that's been out for a very long time. It's been out since summer of 2012, or even maybe earlier when the first map came out in 2012, is when MCSG started being a thing. Uh, MCSG, probably back then, its biggest rival was the Skitscape server, which was by a YouTuber called Skitscape. Uh, he was friends with Ant Venom and Caveman Films and all those people. They hosted the third YouTuber survival games event which was pretty neat. It was a cool game. Uh, Skitscape and their team ended up winning it, so Ant Venom won for a third time. If you guys haven't watched the original Survival Games match, the big YouTuber match on the original SG-1 with Variety and all these people, you should totally check it out because it is such a cool thing. Uh, a lot of big YouTubers were in it. Syndicate, C Nanners, Paul Source Jr., IS Cupquake, Ant Venom, uh, who else was in it? Um, uh, P... Uh, P-Bat, um, all the, the really, like, Lucklin, all the original Chimney Swift, the original big U Minecraft YouTubers were all in it. There was no Sky Does Minecraft that was big back then, or Sunday, or Beijing Canadian, or Nexus servers, or whatever there was. Even the Fridge, which was Beijing Canadian's old SG server, was really good, so community is a big thing on Minecraft, and it's a big thing in survival games, and a lot of people play on SG, which is kind of the point I was trying to make throughout that entire thing. If we can get a two-player deathmatch, that'd be very cool. That'd be nice if we can get a two-player deathmatch. I don't know how that would work, but you I thought two I thought three players meant deathmatch, but I guess it's different in this survival games. I don't know, but we're gonna watch this match go. We're gonna watch this game play out, and we're just gonna kinda watch from the skies here. And maybe we'll jump down in the end and see what we can do. Maybe we'll go ahead and down there and go clean up this game. And we will see if we can do that. So I think that might be the thing we're gonna do. We have to be careful though, we don't want to be seen. That's my worry. Really don't want to be seen at all. Just kind of want to watch this fight go on from a distance. I don't want them to see me. That is my real fear. So if we can blend in, if we can blend in up here, that would be the thing I want to do. They're getting close to killing each other. It's us three left, and I'm probably the most undergeared out of them all. He just got killed. I'm going down there. I'm going in. I'm going in. Because we're going all in. Yes, we're going all in. Oh god. <laughs> that was so good. But anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of the Minecraft Survival Games. If you did, please be sure to leave a comment. Wait, do I have a spectator name? Am I disguised? Is it all disguised? I don't know. But anyway, guys, I don't even know how Solo SG works. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of the Minecraft Survival Games. If you did, please leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel because we're going to be putting out a lot more Survival Games content this week. And as always, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video.